Okay, I hope everybody had a good week. We had a good week here. Um, didn't get as much accomplished because we had some rain days, some water hauling days, and then today, Sunday, we ended up going to a bison ranch. We got invited to, to do a tour, and we have a bunch of awesome photos coming up for you guys at the end of this video. Not our regular um, pictures that normally come up, but pictures from this week and uh, the bison farm ranch and i hope you guys enjoy what's coming up all the emus and everything else so see you guys on the next video all right home center family so monday was hay day so i bought three bales of hay you can see they're demolishing the bottom one got the top one there and then all the way down there there's another red one and got a third bale of hay there. So that's what got accomplished Monday. All right, so it's Tuesday and we got the second pig pen built and the pigs are divided. So here you can see the second pig pen. There's the first one in front and then you can see at the back, the second one in back. Some happy pigs. Hey guys, it's Tuesday night, about 11.30, and we have went to check on the emu eggs. They are ready to get close to being hatched. We're at day 42, so uh, Johnny had done some research on reading what the best way is to find out if they're close to being ready to hatch. And you can take a drill bit and either and tap on it, and you'll either hear a thud or a ting to tell you how ready they are the thud is deep and loud and the tink is really like they said fine china or what i think is a crystal glass around the rim like with a spoon so we've got six of them that we pulled out on the table and was checking them and so had gotten to the last one and all of a sudden the first one that we had touched had moved so we started talking to them that's another thing you can do and then more of them started moving. So we got movement in the emu eggs. So hopefully in the next week or so, we should be having baby emus. And we should have some wonderful videos and photos coming up. Yep. So, so have a great night, and we'll talk to you later. Bye. Okay, today is Wednesday. It is nothing but rain. It's been torrential downpour all morning. It's still raining um, up here. I've got most of the trees covering me, uh, but I'm headed back uh, to the house. I was just out at the homestead getting all the animals fed, and I noticed that some of the clover seed is finally starting to pop. I didn't know, but clover can take a while to come up, and I talked to the feed store and said, I don't have any clover yet. Everything else came up, and they said give clover another couple weeks, because sometimes it waits later till the ground is completely warmed up so got clover uh, got a bunch of the other stuff growing I'll show you that in an update video this uh, Saturday I'll film that for the Sunday Monday vlog as well and show you the difference between the pens after this rain because this rain I mean it rains and then it just blows up I mean these leaves on the trees everything is just getting so dense and so green so it's amazing and I'll talk to you guys a little bit later okay Thursday's project was picking up glass and trash so I went ahead covered this whole pen over here covered the pen down that way and I double checked in here with the pig pen in this side and pig pen on that side I also started over here and then this is Friday I didn't film yesterday so this is what it's going from it's going from dense woods which you can see way over there uh, of course the goats have cleared the camels have cleared up about eight nine foot tall uh, so I'm going through and now I'm clipping all this small stuff and all the small stuff with, with leaves at the top because all these have leaves at the top the goats are clearing up so you can see it's all the way down to just sticks then I'll be chipping them and put in the wood chips around the base of the tree like I did over here. And then you can see all the greenery. Not sure it 
how good the camera is picking it all up. But uh, through here and everything, I mean, it's just super, super green. All the seeds are coming through. So the goal is, hopefully all this is grown up at least a foot tall or so uh, by this fall, like August time period. Then I'll move the animals back into this pen. And then I'll go ahead and the end of August seed this whole pen they're in. Hopefully have this all cleared out, wood chipped up, and I'll be able to get it seeded. And hopefully get enough grown in here before November 1st. And then most likely going to move them back over here November 1st. And uh, try to get stuff established. So that's what we're doing here at Homestead. Crow is just being a noisy, noisy goose. Noisy goose. Like always. And Henry, the emu sitting back there. And all the others. So we're just doing our thing. Getting some work done. All the ducks are there laying out, roosters checking things out. And uh, yeah, another beautiful day on the homestead. Okay, it's Friday night. We had all those heavy rains and this is what's happening. The road on the back here where I dug that three foot hole, there's the mound of dirt. Three foot holes right here. The water is just gushing, gushing, gushing. And uh, not sure how long it's going to go for, but you can hear it's a rumbling. So we are headed home and we will see you on the next video. So here is our peacock pen that we built. Got it along with nine of our peacocks that we picked up Saturday night and it is a lot of work it goes into making such a small pen as you can see we got home probably six and didn't leave until about midnight well it actually seven and so that's all the work that it took to get that little bitty pen for those nine peacocks of course we're going to expand it but so when we get home we'll show you our emus all right so we've got three baby emus already that have hatched we have another egg down in the bottom that is in the process of hatching two more up top that should be hatching and then an entire tray and then today we were at the homestead and just had another egg uh, laid so Never had emus lay past January and February, and here they lay January, February, March, April, and now we're in May, they're still laying eggs. So we could have a whole bunch of these little cuties.